this is a blog especially for the ladies and especially for the ladies who love to wear sari blouses that are all fancy and extravagant and backless so um, I used to always have this problem wearing um, wearing a bra under my uh, blouses and because you, you should you could always see them seeping up the side or rising up with slightly and it just let's be honest it just looks bad so um, yeah I had to do something about it and I you know I tried out the little gel pads didn't work for me especially if I was using it from Garba where I'm sweating from dancing um, yeah not good and I also tried the little inserts that you get with the blouses from India. Sometimes they sew on the cups, but come on, let's be honest, nobody's cup size is exactly the same and they're not that comfortable. So I had to do something about it. And I was looking up online and I've seen a lot of these elastic um, sort of extendable straps, but I had no idea where to get a hold of one. So I thought, you know what, it looks pretty simple and easy to make, so why not make one? And you know what? It works a treat. So um, I'm going to show you how to make it and I'll show you some examples with some blouses on as well. So you can use that for blouses which are quite low cut, um, but you can't use it for blouses which are completely backless. Um, but don't worry, I actually have got another trick which I use for blouses that are completely backless because I do love my backless blouses. So yeah, stay tuned in the video. Please let me know what you think and uh, yeah, try it out. It's amazing. So all you need is one bra that should fit you comfortably. Now you want something that is ideally quite padded and um, it should have this sort of triangular support here. And also, if you do tend to have a larger chest, you want to choose a bra which is giving a bit more coverage around here. Yeah, so this one's kind of like a half style, but you want to get one that's kind of co completely covering your um, upper bust. And secondly, you just need any old bra and uh, for the elastic, you want something that's at least one inch thick. You don't want something that's too thick, so two inches might be pushing it a little bit because you may be able to see that a lot more. So one inch is the best. Or just think of it as your elastic needs to be the size of this strap here. And you also need a needle and thread. So first things first, you want to get your piece of elastic. Now make sure you're not stretching it too much. As you can see, you can see the gaps through that. That stretch too much. That's how it is naturally. So you want just a slight stretch. And then what you need to do is take it as if it's your bra strap at the bottom and give it a little bit of stretch and bring it all the way around. So it should be comfortable. It shouldn't feel too tightly stretched, just like that. And I remember that point, and what you want to do is you want to just snip it there. So the first method is to grab your bra and pop it on. So this one is for blouses which are quite low cut. Um, you can't do it for any backless blouses, but you can do this one for blouses which have a small bit of a seam at the bottom. Right, you want to take the hooks and you want to hook it up like that. Now, tuck it all the way around and then Clip this side onto the hooks that are on that side of the blouse, on, the, on your original blouse. Like that. 
Now, as you can see, you can adjust your straps and bring them right down. And that's quite comfortable for your boss. And for blouses that are completely backless, what you need to do is just use your existing bra and you'll need two safety pins. Now what you want to do is, you want to wear your bra as normal, like that. And then what you do is you bring these two sides right round forward. And same on the other side, bring it round forward and give it a buckle in front. And what you do is you can either sew this on, have a bra that's permanently for the ones for all your backless sari blouses. So you just want to buckle it there. And the same with that side. And give it a buckle there. And that's quite comfortable. And you've got your back completely backless. So I'll show you with some of my blouses on. So there you have it. That's the end of my tutorial. Um, I mean, do try it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, make sure you do use a bra that is giving you quite a good support here. So it's kind of like creating a, a mini corset because that's the one. That's what's not going to budge whilst you've got your bra, uh, whilst you've got your blouse on. Um, blouses usually come with darts anyway, so they should kind of hold in place. Um, but you can also use these for western dresses, um, quite tight, tight fitted dresses. If they're quite loose, it doesn't tend to work, but if it's quite tight fitted, it should be okay. But yeah, let me know what you guys think and uh, I'll see you on my next video.